All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rachakudash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the Akim and unto the elect that are scattered across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and faith and sincerity. I am Shema Allah. I right, from the Houston camp. Today, you know, I want to get into, you know, mistakes. All right, being made in this truth. All right. You know, fucking up, all right, because those things are going to happen, all right, it ain't no way around it, it's going to happen, they're going to come, all right, you're going to make your mistakes, and you're going to fuck up, but what does that mean, though, does it mean that it's over for you, nah, because the, the scriptures say, at a just man fall it seven times, and I'm going to read it, all right, because we was in the world for so many years, all right, and we have been awakened unto this this truth, all right, this, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and we're new to this, so being new to this, are you going to mess up, all right, it's going to come. All right, and certain certain dudes or certain guys in this truth, they think that when they mess up, that it's just over for them. All right, guys be having certain thoughts like, oh, what if I'm not going to be elect or I'm not going to make it, I'm going to be destroyed. Shut up, bro. Just like I said, the scriptures say a just man falls seven times, a righteous man. I this is Proverbs twenty four sixteen it says for a just man falleth seven times and rises up again. All right, a just man is a righteous man. I right, say so he falleth seven times and seven means complete. All right, so he it ain't no certain number that you can't put a number on how many times that you're gonna fall if you believe that you're a righteous man. All right. So you believe that you're of the hopeful elect, you're going to fall. You're going to make mistakes. What you got to do, you got to rise up again. All right, you can't let shit like that keep you down. All right, and keep you in a, a woe is me spirit. All right, it's not good for you. All right, it says, for a just man falleth seven times and rises up again. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. All right. You know when it says that the just man, the righteous man, rises up again. All right. After he fell, is he able to do it on his own? This is Psalms 145. And verse 14. It says... Yahweh upholdeth all that fall and raiseth up all those that be bowed down. Alright, it says Yahweh upholdeth all that fall. And you go into this word upholdeth. Alright, Strong's number H 5564 Samak says to lean, lay, rest, support, put, uphold, lean upon. Alright. To lean, lay upon, rest upon, lean against, to support, uphold, sustain, to support, or brace oneself, to sustain, refresh, revive. Alright, basically, support. Alright, the Most High is going to support you. Alright, and, and help you be able to rise again from that lower state. Alright, from you being lower in the spirit, from making a mistake. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is going to, is going to bring you back. All right, and get your get your get your mind right again. It says Yahweh put all that fall and register up all those that be bowed down. So you got to believe that the Most High can do that for you. That the Most High will bring you up out of that situation. All right, whatever it may be. You know, for whatever mistake that you have made. All right, you know, just pray to the Most High. All right, to forgive you. You know, and just try your best, you know, to offend less, basically. 
All right, try your best not to make that same mistake again because we're supposed to learn from our mistakes. How we supposed to learn from our wrongdoings? This is Psalms 37. In 23, it says, The steps of a good man are ordered by Yahweh, and he delighted in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly, utterly cast down. Yeah, just because you fucked up, you made a mistake. Doesn't mean it's just the end for you. Or it's the end of the world. You're going to be destroyed. Like, like your shot and getting to the kingdom is just totally out of there. Like you have no way possible to make it now just because you made a mistake or have been making a couple of mistakes no nah, that, that's, that's not what that means bro it's like i said it's the scripture that's like the scripture said i had a righteous man fall seven times i said it's because he fell he said he should not be utterly cast down it's because you you made that mistake don't mean it's for your destruction it's for you to better yourself. All right, to learn from that mistake. All right, correct it and keep pushing. It says, "It says, uh, though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for Yahweh upholds him with his hand." All right, just like we just read in the last scripture, the Most High is going to bring you up out of that. Now right, he's going to set you back up. Says I have been young and now I'm old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Ah, right, yeah, that's like the, that's like the scripture that said a righteous man fathered seven times. And this scripture he said in verse twenty five, he has not seen the righteous forsaken. So even though the the righteous man fell a complete number, of, you know, like seven, like I said, it represents complete. Even though that the righteous man was falling or making mistakes, all right, fucking up, he was not forsaken. So you got to remember that, all right? Just because you're making this mistake does not mean Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah will forsake you. All right? Because think about it like this, you know, like, in, in, in a war, you know, let's just say, you know, yeah, you go to war or whatever. Back in the ancient times, all right? You go to war, you know, you're fighting and you get knocked down. But you're not dead yet. Uh, you didn't die. You got. You just fell. Uh, you slipped or whatever. Dude knocked you down. So what you gonna do? You gonna sit right there? I right, let him kill you? Are you gonna get your? You gonna get your sword? You gonna get your spear? And you gonna get right back up? Are right, you gonna get right back into the fight? All right, that's what we have to do because this is the spiritual war that we are in. All right. Which which our sword is the scriptures. Alright, so when you fall, you gotta get yourself back together. Alright. Get your sword and get back up and get into the spiritual war. Alright. Last scripture. Scriptures. This is a uh, Matthew fourteen and twenty two. Oh yeah, like I was just talking about the uh, the spiritual war, you know, because you know I believe that it's uh, Second Timothy. Scriptures say that we are soldiers, all right, for Yahweh Shah. <laughs> all right. So just because you fail, does not mean the war is over. It does not mean that that you're gonna die, basically. All right, just get back up. This is uh, Matthew 14 and uh, 22. It says, And straightway Yahweh Shah constrains his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves. For the wind was contrary. And then the fourth watch of the night, Yahweh went unto them, walking on the sea. 
And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. And I said, Yeah, I was, I was, walking, up, was walking on the water unto them in the ship. He said, but straight, but straight away, Yahweh shall speak unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter, said, and Peter answered him and said, Lord, if you be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Yahweh. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and began to sink. And he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Yahweh stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? All right, yes, yeah, so Peter got on the water and started, you know, started walking towards Yahweh. All right, he believed that he can do it. So he started walking, but then that's when he started paying attention to the things that were around him, you know, that boisterous wind. All right. Which for us in these times that represents the tribulations and the things that we're gonna go through. Alright, Peter took his eyes off of the Lord. Alright, he he took his focus off of the Lord and, and was raving about that wind, that boisterous wind, and what he did. Alright, he sunk. He started to sink. Alright, because he had doubt. Alright, he seen that wind and he was like, oh shit. I'm fucked. <laughs> All right, he be, and he started sinking. He had that doubt. All right, and when you have that doubt, that type of doubt in this truth, all right, from thinking that you're going to perish, thinking you're going to get destroyed, thinking that you're not part of the elect just because you made a simple mistake, you're going to get low in the spirit. Are right, you going to sink in the spirit? All right, but what did, what did Yahweh Shah do? Did he let him sink? No. It says, verse 31, says, and immediately, immediately Yahweh Shah stretched forth his hand and caught him. All right, just like the scriptures, the previous scriptures I read, when it said that Yahweh upholded him with his hand. All right, the Most High, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, raises up all that, that, that fall, basically, paraphrase, roughly paraphrase. All right. It said, and immediately Yahweh shot stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? Alright, so you got to believe that when you sink, because right, sometimes you're going to be low in the spirit, right, but you got to believe that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah can take you up out of that. And if you are his, if you're of his sheep, right, if you're of the elect, right, he will be there to you know, to catch you, all right, and to pull you up out of that, just like he did with Peter, all right, and you know, with that, man, that's really the lesson, you know, just for, you know, just for, like, new, new, new guys coming in the truth, or, you know, or whoever may be having these type of thoughts, thinking that, you know, you just making all these mistakes. All right, and, and your and your shot of the kingdom is over. All right, you know, you got to keep your mistakes. Try to keep your mistakes to a minimum. All right, you're not you know, don't be out here, you know, committing adultery. All right, getting tattoos and, and, and shit like that. All right, a, a, a smoking no weed. All right, because, nah, that, that's not the mistakes that I'm talking about. All right, you just going completely the fuck off, all right? You know, you know whatever you may go through in the truth, don't think it's just the end for it, all right? Just correct yourself, and and you know just just come back, just bounce back from that, all right? And be a much better person in the spirit. All right, you know. <laughs> I think I'm talking too much, but you know, with that, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rachakadash, your double honors to the Apostle Ezra Great Millstone. You know, peace and salutation unto the Akim, unto the elect, you know, that scattered across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth, and faith, and sincerity. So, Shalom.